Hello guys, thanks for watching. Adrian here from FSIT. So in this video, I want to say a few words about the latest update of um, Django Soft UI dashboard. Now the product has been updated to support a, a team-based uh, pattern, which means the design is no longer hard-coded in the product. So it's uh, installed um, using pip. Uh, let's take a look at the at the code base. So now the um, uh, the design comes from this team, which is uh, also open source and can be used uh, um, in any Django project, legacy or new project. Um, all the instructions are provided to, in order to install the team. All the instructions are provided here on the um, on the readme, and also the library can be found on uh, on PyPy uh, package index. Okay, let's go back to the um, uh, software dashboard. So basically, the code base now uh, integrates and uh, make this uh, minimal configuration of the team inside the product. And on top of this, uh, the the product um, uh, supports uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment uh, flow uh, using uh, render as a deployment infrastructure. Let's um, demonstrate how this works. And uh, I will explain how to um, how to do it without uh, how to go live uh, with this product without uh, without any any efforts. Okay, I will duplicate the live. I'm using here a new just a new name. Once the uh, the project is forked, we need to edit this uh, YAML. But this is optional for you. But uh, in my case, I need to to have a unique uh, deployment name under my account. So uh, you don't have to do it. Basically, the continuous integration and continuous deployment uh, flow it's uh, it's handled by uh, two files. This uh, render.yml that explains to the render platform how to deploy the product. Uh, uh, if we take a look at the environment uh, information, this is Python. Also, this uh, star, com <coughs> star command uh, uh, line uh, informs render that uh, the entry point of the application is uh, lives here in the in the core directory. Okay, let's um, go back to the um, to the product. Let's access the um, render dashboard, um, and uh, simply create a new a new web service. I will just uh, no, we need to create a new blueprint. Sorry. Okay, so we need to copy the URL of the repository here. Once render accepts the, the request, we need to uh, add here a unique name in your, uh, in your account and uh, hit the apply button. Now render analyzes the, the code base and um, um, soon the product uh, should be up and running. And um, the deploy should be should be successful. Um, soon, all our products will be migrated to this uh, to this pattern because it's super super easy to uh, to use the um, uh, this uh, the design uh, any design provided by AppSeed. Uh, the application. Um, uh, the, the, the design can be extended also with ease, so it's not a problem to switch from one design to another in case um, your product needs to switch from soft dashboard to material dashboard. You just need to install the new design and you are good to go. Um, at this moment, um, we already we have already some uh, some products migrated to this pattern and uh, those products are material design um berry dashboard um, pixel free, the free version and uh, many many others okay 
um, <clears throat> at this point, render informs us that the product is up and running. Let's uh, access the product in the browser. Okay. So we are good to go. We can see that uh, the application is, is live. We can enable or disable here the, um, from this control the, <clears throat> the dark mode. Let's uh, create a new user and uh, access the private pages. I will type here the password just to be sure the same confirmation is, uh, is used. Okay. And now we can access the application. All the um, private pages are, um, are now accessible. We can see that uh, previously before the sign in, the, the left menu was, uh, was providing only the dashboard link. But now we have tables, billing, virtual reality, and uh, profile page. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, the product is open source, uh, is um, released under the MIT license, which means you can use it for um, commercial projects or simply for learning activities. In case anyone uh, have issues, um, access the homepage of AppSuite, go here for the um, support link and uh, use the coordinates uh, listed uh, on this page. Uh, the email address or simply join the squad uh, and chat with the um, support team. Uh, let us know what you think about the product. Uh, let us know how the product can be improved and uh, we will uh, uh, taking care of all the suggestions and uh, decide if this uh, if a, a new proposal is, is nice and can be used by the community. We will add the code uh, to the product. So guys, thanks for watching again. Adrian here from Epsid and uh, um, I wish you all a super, uh, super new year and uh, pretty sure this, uh, this year will be an awesome one and uh, we will uh, get back with more tools, modules and uh, other products that will um, help many, many developers across the globe to, to start uh, the new projects much easier and uh, uh, to code the uh, amazing products. See you, see you guys and uh, as I said, as I said before, I wish you a super, super day. Bye.